Is it draining the sand away from the... Oh, that's why. Ultimate marshmallow moment. Okay, so this big... Fuck... Ooh. Hello everyone, my name is Lucael and welcome back to episode 5 of Outer Wilds. It is Friday, I hope you guys had a nice week and thank you for joining me again today. So in the last episode we explored Giant's Deep as well as the Orbital Probe Cannon. We started piecing together like some parts of the mysteries, but then other mysteries are like showing up, like that jellyfish that we found, so... So yeah, I'm really intrigued to keep going. We're gonna explore a little bit more of Giant's Deep today, and then we're gonna move on to... Maybe the Twins, maybe... So yeah, a lot of people are watching this playthrough, which makes me really happy, and I wanna thank you for watching, and also for all your comments. I just wanna say again, for comments, please be mindful of not having spoilers in your comments. Basically, if you're gonna say something that you only know because you've played the game, just don't say it. Like. <laughs> When I'm asking a question, I'm just doing it so that you guys can hear my reasoning. I don't actually want you to tell me the answer to my questions. Like, if I want you to tell me, I'm gonna be very clear. I'm gonna be like, please tell me, like, if I missed something, or please tell me how to do this. Like, if I'm just asking questions, they're rhetorical questions. Like, I don't actually want the answer. But either way, I still do appreciate you guys commenting, and I, I might just record the next few episodes in a bulk to avoid spoilers in the future, so uh, I'm not sure, we'll see. So without any further ado, guys, let's jump right back in. No probe today. You never know, sometimes the probe shows up, sometimes it doesn't show up. Hmm. I'm looking particularly pale today. This lighting setup I have is really not flattering at all. <laughs> I'm looking like dead right now. Ugh. It is what it is. Alright, back in our familiar spaceship. And there's one more thing I want to do on Giant's Deep, and that is to visit the core of Giant's Deep. That's kind of all that was left last time. We visited all the islands. Actually, if the probe doesn't get shot from the cannon, does that mean it's still in the cannon? I wonder. Because we see it break. Why is it so hard to catch up to this thing? All right, we've matched velocity now. Is the artifact still in there? It doesn't seem to be. So like, what make... What causes it to break? If the artifact isn't launched? I don't really know. Alright, let's get in there. Alright, so we're looking for... Uh, a cyclone that goes counterclockwise. This one. Okay, we got one of these jellyfish. Hey, how you doing? Uh, and we have the core here. So the core we saw in the projection in the previous episode, it seems to have the not the control module, the that other module <laughs> is in there. There's some red light coming from there. Is that Oh, that's one of these jellyfish. Something tells me if I try to pass through, I'm just going to get destroyed. Okay, it kind of like paralyzes the ship. Is this thing alive or is it a machine? Doesn't seem to emit any kind of a signal. Oh, 
Reactor damage, huh? Uh, okay, that means death. Unless I can repair it. Can I repair the reactor before it explodes? I don't think I can. I think it's gonna blow. Okay, so there's multiple of these... Yep. Multiple of these jellyfish. Oh, my scout was sent fucking flying. So the scout won't get in there. It just gets pushed back. Okay, well, I, because we found the jellyfish on this, like, Dark Bramble Island, I assumed the jellyfish came from Dark Bramble, but maybe they are native to this planet after all. So they're creating, like, this kind of red light. And they're coming like in and out of the core. So I assume I can't get in there, right? It's gonna kill me. I mean, I have to try it. Oh, I don't like this. Yep. Yep, that sounds about right. Um, whoa! Hey, how you doing? Okay, well I guess there's not much more I can do here for now. So we know how to get down into the water, but then we don't there's not really much we can do on here, unfortunately. Can I come out of the water? Yes, I can. Oh, there's the ship! <laughs> I probably can get in there, right? I mean, they made it sound really... Is that the island that has Gabro on it? They made it sound really complicated to get under the water, but it sounds like you can just kind of... There doesn't seem to be anything stopping you from going underwater. Oh shit, can I get on there? It's gonna move too fast. Gabro! Ah, oh god. Oh god. Oh. All right, well, I'm stranded on this planet, uh, so I'm gonna have to reset. All right, so that's it for Giants Deep for now. I don't think that gave me any ship logs either. This time we got a probe, and the quantum moon's there, and now it's gone. Um, I guess we can try and go to the twins, right? Is there anything new here? Ocean depths. Okay, we do have an entry. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Okay. Uh, yeah, if we go further out, we'd be going to Dark Bramble, but Dark Bramble is fucking scary. So, uh, I think we're gonna go... What is that? What is that thing? Can I get on this thing without, like, burning from the sun? Is it going inside the sun? Okay, no, it's just like on the outside. Um, okay, let's go on the twins. I'm gonna try and get on this... Oh, there it is again. What is this? It's going around very fast. 
Okay, let's not crash into the sun. Let's not crash into the sun. Uh, let's not crash into the sun, because that's going to be instant death. Oh, that was too close. Is the sun moving? Because, like, we think of the sun as not moving. We think that only the planets around it are moving, but... The whole system is... This thing moves way too fast. But yeah, the whole system is kind of... Fuck. Fuck. Ah, don't, 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 Very hard to escape the gravity of the sun. I think it kind of pulls you in a little bit. Or I was just in its trajectory, but... Okay, so I'm not gonna try and land on this little station. There might be some other way to get on there that's, like, safer. We're just gonna try and go on the twins. So there's the Ash Twin, the Ember Twin, is that it? So there's an Ash Twin and then an... Wait, the Ash Twin Project? So... So how are these, like... Connected exactly. Okay, so there's the Amber Twin and there's the Ash Twin. But the Ash Twin is the one that they built, right? The Nomai built it? So I think it might be like an artificial construction, right? How big is it? Uh, uh, can we land on it? Okay, we can. Okay, so now we're on the Ash Twin. It seems kind of empty, except at the very top, or bottom. It's actually bigger than it looks. Okay, how strong is the gravity here? Not very, yeah. The Ash Twin, is it like ar entirely artificial? Or is it just the chamber at its core that they built? Or did they build this whole thing? Okay, what is here? Uh, something is coming out of the sand. What is happening? Oh. Okay. Some Nomai structure. What is coming out? Some like Nomai structure. Oh. Oh, it pushes me out. That probably leads to the core. That core chamber. But it's. What is happening? That's the other uh, escape pod. What's happening? Is it draining the sand away from the... Oh, that's why! Wait. Okay, so it's not that these things are coming out, it's that the, the whole planet is being absorbed? I never noticed that one of them, like, got bigger. Okay, so as the sand gets absorbed in there, I guess it's gonna fill out, like, that middle part, and then this thing is gonna be excavated. But then maybe that coincides with the sun going supernova? I guess if I'm very patient, uh, I'm gonna see this whole thing come out of the sand eventually. But then I guess this whole planet's gonna be like reduced to nothing. Okay, the gravity is not too strong here. So that's at the South Pole. Let's check out the North Pole. Let me see what is pulling the sand like that.
Okay, it's just kind of happening. Ooh. More, more structures are like... Sorry, that's my phone. Oh, but it's broken. Man, the sand is going down fast. Oh, it's a warp. Okay, so one a warp leaves inside of this room. Look at that, this whole thing is like out now. I think the gravity is also getting like... The gravity is also going down as this planet's getting smaller and smaller, which makes sense. Oh, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Oh. Hey, there's a scroll. Uh, where can I read that? I don't really have anywhere I can... Maybe down here? Oh wow, this whole place is gonna be out in the open. Just gotta be very patient. Oh, there's a slot! Friends visiting from the Hanging City. We are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. I became lost on Ember Twin, my gratitude that Rami found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Conoy would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Okay. There's another warp here. Uh. Oh shit, am I gonna get fucking pulled into that? Oh fuck! Oh, see, it's being transferred in... It's being transferred in the core of the other twin. The, the core of the other twin is growing. Oh, another one of these, uh... That's a fucking straight-up Nomai in a suit. Okay. Ah, shit, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. They couldn't put any trees? Are these cacti that give me any... The whole planet's about to be absorbed. Okay, I can't get in there. Uh... Shit, shit. The gravity's getting super low. Ooh. Okay, I guess these are the solar panels that they mentioned. Okay, this leads up. It's just gonna lead me up to the surface where I was when I first got here. More of these solar panels. I'm gonna run out of oxygen without having time to do anything. Don't know what that is. Fuck. Fuck. Damn. I need to find some trees somewhere. Or I guess I need to stay close to my ship. That's so weird. The fucking gasp when you wake up after like running out of air is so jarring. Well, first of all, I guess I should check the other twin first. High energy lab, Ash Twin Towers. I should check the bigger twin first because it would give me time for the other one to be like absorbed. Yeah, okay, building with large solar panels, the Iron Age lab. Several large Nomai towers form a ring 
around Ashtwin's equator. A ring. Okay. I'm guessing that if we wait to the end of the cycle and all the sand's gone, we're just gonna see like that core that core chamber that they built. The one that has all the masks inside. And what is that? What is that station that just goes around the sun? And is it possible to land on it? It's going around the sun very fast. Okay, yeah. So at the very beginning, the Ash Twin is huge. But let's try and go on the Ember Twin instead. Like, where, when does the process start and like what starts it? Because see, right now there's no sand. Something starts pulling the sand in. Like, what's, a, what's in the middle? It's just kind of like a core. Okay. So just kind of a core made of sand. Okay, well, there's lots. That's the other. That's the beacon. Yeah, just like the other one we found. Oh, there's something up here. Okay, there's a lot to see on this planet, so. Ooh. Is this the warp? Is this the warp? Okay, it's it's like a, a clock. It's like a clock and it follows the planets. Ooh. And my ship's being pushed by it. But then it also says the quantum moon is over there, but it's of course the quantum moon's always moving. Okay, so I don't think that's actually the warp. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note, it disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree, our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanic. So they already knew about that. I found your note, Melore. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Heart as well. But we've established that even just aiming your signal scope at something uh, is enough to observe it. But by that logic, wouldn't everything always be observed by someone? Like, if even if you're really far away just looking at a star, you have to imagine that it's it counts as being observed, right? So like, considering there's people all over the universe just looking up at the stars, like wouldn't someone always be observing the moon? You know? Oh, oh someone had a camp here. Who was it? Shirt! Clearly the Nomai were making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about the orange the orange symbol on that device. Hal in the new astronauts translator tool would be nice to have handy about now. Well, I'm here now. And we have fuel and air here, so that's very useful.
The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anona, Burr, I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. It's actually six, as we know. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device. It's also possible there's a sixth location, yes. Uh, yep. Okay, so we already know, know this. We know there's six locations. Oh. Here it is, it's moving. I still don't know what this red light is that's orbiting around the system. I would love to know. This thing, that's... what is that? So let's refuel just to be sure and then let's keep looking. So that's... this thing is on the south pole of this planet. Unidentified signal. Yeah, it's the... their distress signal. Escape pod 2. Let's see what they have in this ship. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid but physically well, and no, no, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief at least. Do you have my gratitude? Burr, were you able to find the other escape pod's distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. One is on Brittle Hollow, the other is in Dark Bramble. Yeah. Escape pod 2 vessel has been mortally injured. Again, injured. Uh, leading me to believe the vessel is alive somehow. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2. Uh, collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete. External temperature is pro high, prohibitively high. Inhospitable, do not seek shelter on planet surface. So where'd they go? In the core? The heat from this star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. Oh, the... Oh, okay, the, the ship leads to the underground, okay. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show is a cave system with much, much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. But these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Oh. So maybe it's like... A constant thing. Maybe it keeps being pulled from one planet to the other. It's not just the one time. Ooh, so there's like a whole cave system here. Oh my god. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct long-term shelter there. Okay, let's... There's that sand. Let's try following this passage then. We'll try going from like left to right because I want to avoid getting lost if I can. Okay, just sand falling. Oop. Ooh, what's at the bottom of this planet? Like what's at the core of it? The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. Okay. To reach the shelter site, walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. 
Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. Oh man, I can tell I'm gonna get lost. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Forward until you meet the sandfall. Turn left. And then climb upward above the rock columns. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get lost, probably. And I'm lost. Wait, it said to turn left, right? Okay, going left, going left. Going left. Okay, rock columns. I think I got those. And then it said above them. Man, you, ha you guys had like this amazing technology. You built all these incredible things and you couldn't just build like a an easier path. Okay, I think like I said above the rock columns. Okay. I don't like being alone in these caverns. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Melore and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. Look for the tunnel behind falling sand. Okay, well, it looks like your bridge didn't hold at all. Behind the sand. You're doing well. <laughs> There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Oh, shit. Uh... Do I go there or do I just fall down? Okay, well, it'll be easier to go back down if it's up there. So let's try going up there. Ooh. Is this it? Where's this? Was there like an easier way to get in here? This is amazing! Look inside the cave! How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Kalius and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Oh god, what's in there? Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet in this is this horror's place of- Oh, it's gonna be a fucking- the fish. Uh, this drive is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Kalius and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update, we need to find a way inside quickly, Melore, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Oh god, it is. It's a fucking... Okay, was it like a skeleton when they found it? Or was it alive? Shit, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Okay, so there's a fucking anglerfish in this place for some reason? How... How could it possibly get in here? Shit. Okay, so they, they had a shelter in here. So we're gonna find a bunch of their skeletons. Ugh. Whoa. 
how did they build all this? Okay, we got our oxygen, that's very good, because I was running out. What's all this? Three angular fish overlook district. Stepping stone district. High energy lab trailhead. Eye shrine district. What? What's happening? What does this do? Nothing seems to change. Stepping stone district. Oh, it's the lights. Oh, it turns on the lights. Ooh. Oh, the sand's rising. Fuck. Right, because the sand's being absorbed from the other place. Shit. Uh, oh, I don't have a lot of time. Oh, there's gonna be some ghost matter in there. Why ghost matter? Wait. Why is there fucking ghost matter everywhere? Uh, any scrolls or no? Okay. Okay, oh, more Nomai here, oh. Solanum, we've heard about Solanum. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our clan came here. What if the eye isn't something good? What if the eye wanted that to happen? What if? That's the scary part, right? Okay, so I'm gonna have to find this place very fast next time if I want to be able to explore all of this. Because uh, this place is already being, like, covered. Oh, there's more in there. Where do I get? How do I get? Ow, oh, shit. How do I get? Why is there ghost matter here? Why is there ghost matter everywhere? What's with the ghost matter? Um, ah, oh shit. I got lost. How do I get... How do I get in there? I saw more logs in there. Oh, there's a window that leads into... Maybe I can jump. Ah, oh, the sand's pushing me down. Shit. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, maybe if I wait for the sand to be high enough. Oh, what's this? Gravity cannon? Dude, there's so much on here. What the fuck? Okay, there's plenty of... Okay, there's a ton of... There's a ton of ghost matter in this area for some reason. Why here? Did the ghost cannon cause this ghost matter? And where does this lead? 
Shit, but now I won't have time to... Oh, it's like a shortcut. Okay. So there is kind of a shortcut into this place, if I can just find... This thing here, this pile of rock. I just need to find like that hole and that's like a shortcut into their shelter. Uh... Oh, okay, it's directly where the observatory is, so that should make it fairly easy to find. Look at that, it's almost all absorbed now. There's like so much more. There's all these structures. Uh, oh man. There's too much to see on this planet. Shit, I wanted to get back under so I could like... Where's that hole? Where's that hole I found in the rocks? I lost sight of it. Where was it? I could swear it was like somewhere around there. Wasn't it? Wasn't it like on this side here? Uh, oh man. I'm never gonna find that place again. Oh, there, there it is. That's the, that's the window that I could see. Shit, it's fuel I'm running out of. Okay, let me get to my ship so I can refuel real quick. Um. Okay, let's check the ship logs. Quantum Moon Locator, Escape Pod Two. Anglerfish fossil. A Nomai device created to track the quantum moon's location, uh, a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Five locations, it's more than five. Uh, one of three escape pods that crashed in the solar system, they were launched from something called Vessel. Anglerfish fossil. I found a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. The Sunless City. Built into the walls of a huge cavern. It's divided vertically into four districts. And yeah, there's more to explore, as I know. Okay, I think... I think we're running out of time here, so I want to see if I can check... Can I go on the Ash Twin? Now that all the sand's been, like, removed? Can I go on the Ash Twin? Yes. Like, what's gonna be at the center of it? I think the sand being completely removed coincides with the sun exploding. Oh, see, there's like an entrance there. Shit. Ooh. Oh, I think this is the room I was in before. That's very scary. Here's our first delivery error. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I read this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? 
I recommend you do. The Whitehall station is the model for the towers being built for the Ash Twin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely I would like to visit the Whitehall station with you, Clary. Yero, stop using this scroll wall to flirt with my sister. <laughs> In romantic matters, her density rivals the neutron stars. Wow, you're just gonna call her out like that? Go meet her on the Whitehall station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. I wish I could wait here for you to arrive. But the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more material soon. Okay. I think the sun's about just about ready to blow up. Yep, it is very big right now. Very big and scary. Ooh. Oh, I can go in there. Oh, this is the place that I could see before. Is there... It's a warp. It's a warp location. Oh, but there's no logs or nothing. There's like nothing in here, just trees? Just trees and a warp location. Okay. And then that's it. And the whole planet's been emptied of all its sand now. And we're about to die. Uh, oh, there's the core. So they built it with like this weird stone. This weird stone that's like supposed to be solid enough to... I mean, it is because we get our memories back, so clearly it worked. So this thing is solid enough to withstand a supernova, huh? I guess there's not much else to discover here. So is there more to this planet than just this at the center? Ow. I mean, there is kind of a ring around it, right? to just find my way back into that inner shelter but there were other places to explore in those caverns too I just kind of followed the first one anything else the Whitehall station was used as a model for these towers which were built for the Ashtwin project why is this one green even though there's nothing new the rule of quantum imaging. The other quantum charms have other lessons to teach. Can you land on this station that orbits the sun? I have to try it. There, there's gotta be a way. See, I can see it right there. I have to do it without just crashing into the sun. So I need to like not go as fast. If I can if I'm just more careful, maybe it's possible. There it is, right there. Right there. Don't absorb me. Don't pull me in. Do not do not. Is there no way to get close to it without being pulled in? Am I just doing it wrong? 
is it just that like my momentum is taking me to it or is it that it's actually pulling me in can i target just that little thing i could match velocity with it right and then i wouldn't get pulled in no it does pull you in you see even if i match velocity it starts going down Okay, yeah, no, it, it's pulling me in, so there's just no way. Okay, well, let's go back to the twins. Alright, is there anything else other than the crashed ship here? There's kind of a tunnel in between there. Oh, whose ship is that? Is anyone else, someone else here? Yo! Is that shirt? Shirt, my dude! Goodness, it's you! Hello! I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. What are you up to? Hornfells asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernova today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye on... Keep an eye or four on the stars and maybe you'll spot one yourself. He's he talking about all the stars going out. Tell me, what can I do for you? Uh, how do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Uh, supernovae look like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous... Ex Wait, I can zoom with my signal scope? They're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. Uh, you're gonna see a lot more than two. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realized. What are you doing out here? Uh, right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfells noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. And maybe don't tell Hornfells either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Uh, where should I explore? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere, the one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough, this one's a Nomai ship. You'll find Nomai ruins across the twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Well, you didn't look underground, did you? You didn't look very far. Believe me, if there was one to see it, I've seen it with my little scout. Looks like you should have maybe got up your butt and uh, explored a little bit. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Amber Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground? It sure is. How dangerous is that big column of falling sand? Uh, on a scale of 1 to dead, I'd give it a 7 or 8. Awfully pretty, though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Amber Twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? Okay, so it does. We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Okay. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin who wants a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. I mean, there's the core and these solar panels, but not much else, it seems. Please do tell, I found your notes about the Adel Rock's main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid, or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant deep. It's hard to say. It used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. I don't actually remember what the, that message was about. The interloper? You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now. In its place is Dark Bramble. Oh, okay. Which, how to put this, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. What the fuck is up with that? That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began destroying it from the inside out. 
So maybe not so much a planet, but more like a creature. Eventually the planet shattered completely and its shards were flung across space. Some of these shards collided with the celestial... Okay, so the ice we found are pieces of that planet that was destroyed by Dark Bramble. Some of these shards collided with the celestial bodies in our solar system, such as the Adel Rock, which I believe is now... is how its biggest crater was formed. I have a question for you. Uh, I found Nomad writing about a hidden planet. How fascinating. It might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible if you look at the physics of our solar system. It would just have to be incredibly far out there. Farther than Hartian ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists. Could the eye be another planet? I found my writing about the quantum moon. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts, I can't tell them about um, dying. They probably wouldn't believe me, even if I did. Uh, what's that? More tunnels. Oh. Um. Ooh, ah, oh. Of course, they had to put cactus in here just to make things more. Oh, it's another quantum shards. Oh, oh, oh interesting. I didn't expect to find one in here. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago and were unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. This rock is very familiar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. Okay, so on the northern hemisphere. An update. Milori and I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Okay, so we found our next quantum shard. It's on this planet, so it's north. Ooh. Okay. Well, the gravity in this place is kind of... Okay, we got branching paths here. This kind of just leads outside. Is this the gravity cannon that I saw mentioned? Okay, there's a lot to see, so let's follow this path. Oh, it's so fast! Ooh. I do like how low the gravity is and makes traveling very fast. Oh, there's the sand. Thankfully, I don't think it's... Coming after us. Oh, there's like a cable. Where's this cable going to? Oh, we got fucking ghost matter. The Sunless City. Crash Site Caves. Is there... can I jump over it? Nah. 
what's up there? Okay, there's something in here. Ooh, there's the interloper. Uh, okay, there's something in here that I can't access because I can't go through the ghost matter. Huh. And then there was the sunless city. There's so much to see on this planet. It's like Brittle Rock all over again, except a little less confusing. Alright, let's just go north. Uh, to try and find the lake bed thing they mentioned. Oh wait, this is north. Hey, I'm just passing through. Oh, there it is. Why don't you just get out of here? Get some light. Friends, if you find any sign of Coleus, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. Mel Melore, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Coleus. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Berg. Coleus and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was young Coleus lost, Melore? He disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. That's where we are right now, right? It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Coleus to examine a sample and when I turned back he simply wasn't there anymore. He had a limited supply of air among Anona, I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis, we will learn more by examining the northern lake bed where Coleus disappeared. Search quickly everyone, we have no time to squander. Isn't this the... Motherfucker. Isn't this the northern lake bed where I'm at right now? Okay, I guess not. Oh, wait. Oh, it keeps going. Okay. So, someone was affected by the quantum mechanics. Usually it's just objects. But someone was transported. I mean, if he didn't have a lot of air left, depending on where he was transported to, he's probably dead. The northern lake bed. Okay, let's me let me check that cannon. Is this the grab? Oh no, I can't because it's full of sand now. Shit. Uh, well, shit. What can I check? Let's try heading north. That. I'm just basically flying right now. Where is that lake bed? Oh, you're back. Have you noticed anything unusual about the stars lately? Something seems... how to put it off. I've seen what, 10 supernova already? 12? They're in the double digits now and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Why are so many stars going supernova? I have no idea! Massive stars go supernova when they reach the end of their lifespans. Uh, maybe our models are wrong, they don't live as long as we expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If our charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun? No, I, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. <laughs> I'm probably overlooking something. I just need to collect more data. If What's he gonna say if I talk to him like seconds before the sun explodes? It's probably gonna like panic.
Oh, there's kind of like a... Oh, interesting. It's like covered in this weird like bubble. Do you see that? I never noticed that before. There's like some kind of aura around it. Is that like what's protecting it? Oh, that might be what's protecting it from the sun. Huh. Is there anything left for me to do here? I could check my ship logs, I guess. Shirts camp, quantum caves, lake bed cave. Shirt has set up their astronomy gear on the North Pole of Ember Twin. Okay, so it is the North Pole. Shirt has spotted an unusually high number of supernova recently. Yep, uh, you and me both. The Nomai noticed a strange wandering rock. Uh, found a strange rock shard that moves when I'm not watching. The wandering rock was first spotted in a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. Uh, no mind named Coleus mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed. I guess I just can't visit it because of all the sand, so this is I should check this early in the cycle. But yeah, they have to put all these quantum shards everywhere because like there's no way for them to know which planet you're gonna visit first. So you end up doing kind of like similar discovery like multiple times. That's why I'm kind of going like I'm kind of going across them like quickly because I already know what the deal is with the quantum ship. Are you ready to watch the sun go supernova, my dude? The stars, they're all dying. They've been too many supernova for it to be anything else. We're next, do you understand? Our sun, by heart's name, we're next! What do you mean, we're next? It's the stars. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did we have to be born at the end of the universe? And our sun, it's... The star shards, why? Why did I want to update them so badly? I didn't have to know, but no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I had to update the star charts. I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have. And now our sun is about to... About to... I don't feel well. I'd like to be alone, please. I don't want to leave you alone here during this... Let's roast some marshmallow, dude. It's just, you know. Let's throw some marshmallow together. Well, at least you're playing music. You know, you're taking it well. Mmm, yum. Just gonna roast some marshmallow with my friend here while we wait for the end of the universe. Well, not the universe, but. Well, isn't that great? Do you know what? I found a few things myself. Most of them have to do with the sun exploding. Oh, who cares? What does it matter? Nothing matters anymore. The sun's about to go supernova and me. All my research, my life's work, wasted. Wasted, you understand? Ah, oh, come on, man. Don't take it like that. You know, it's a beautiful life we've led. You got to explore the, the, the system. You explored the stars. You got your little drum here. You're playing music. Oh, hello. Come sit with me, fellow traveler. Let's sit together and watch the stars die. Uh, sure, why not? We only get so much time, don't we? Ah, there was still much more I wanted to do. How unlucky to have been born at the end of the universe. Well, he's taking it well now. Any minute now. It's like talking to the villagers at the end of... Of, uh... Majora's Mask. When they're, they just start waiting for it. There was some other stuff I could have told him, but I didn't have time. I'm just gonna tell him, by the way, you're gonna die, but I'm not gonna die because my memories being, are being sent back, so... Sucks for you, but... Look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Take out your... Take out your marshmallow, dude! This is the ultimate marshmallow moment! Ultimate marshmallow moment! <laughs> uh, the ultimate marshmallow roasting. 
Ah, oh, that's so... That's like a little unsettling. You see him like panic and he's like, oh my god, the world's ending. And then like, it seems like he kind of accepted it right at the end. He really panicked, but then... It ain't over yet. But yeah, it is wild how... Like, I've now realized we're not really in a time loop. It's not a time loop. This... Everything is happening for real. It's just our memories are being sent back, so we know more than we did before. Oh. All of the stars in the universe are dying, including our sun. Chert has become catatonic in response to our sun's imminent death. <laughs> Oh, Chert. I'm sorry, man. Alright, let's go back. So what should we check early? The lake bed? Like, we want to go while there's no sand, right? Is that the idea? You know, I never stayed around the... I never stayed around on Timberheart during the end. I wonder what the other people have to say. I wonder if they have similar to re reactions. Uh, I mean, we know Gabro is probably taking it well because he knows he's not gonna die, but the other villagers are probably kind of freaking out. I can see a warp thing here. Oh, I haven't been here. Yeah, there's the there's a a warp here. I don't know when I'm gonna find. That damn warp. Because there is one on Whitehall Station that seemed to have served as the basic... Like, the basis for all of these. But, like, clearly there's a place somewhere that allows you to warp to any other location. And I don't know where that is. Okay, so we get a very long... Staircase here. Okay, it just leads to their ship. Oh, the sand has started. Let's hurry up and go to the lake bed. Is this the lake bed? Ooh. What's at the bottom here? Uh, uh, hello? Uh, I don't really like being down here. Hello? Oh, that's a fucking maze. Oh, shit. And this place is filling up with sand. Oh, God. I'm gonna die down here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Shit, I'm being stuck in the sand. No! Ah, fuck. Wait, can I go down there? But there's nowhere to go, is there? Oh, I just—I think I just came here too late. You need to come here before there's any sand. I guess. Oh, that's a horrible death. Ew, you heard me like get squished like an orange. Okay, well that's gross. Probably the worst death by far, and I've had a lot of horrible ones. I actually got squished like a grape. Uh, okay, let's go in that northern lake bed as early as possible. Because clearly there's something down there. 
I have to hurry up and go there as fast as possible. And also, that cannon. Alright, so we're pretty much north right now. Let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Ow. We need to go down there. Before it fills up with sand. Uh, okay, there's gotta be more down there. Okay, uh, let's just stick to the left. Left. Hello, is anyone here? Wait, no, this is a new place because there's fucking cactus. Can't go there because I'm gonna get killed by these cactus. Can't go there because it's locked. Oh, wait! Oh, the cactus are moving. It's the quantum shit. I can use the quantum to get this stuff out of the way. Okay. Where the fuck is this? Is this where that guy died? There's the stone. That's probably where he showed up. If you've come here to look for Collius, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Okay, so that's not where he was. That's where he vanished from. What happened before Collius disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Collius standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes and then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Collius and the rock were both gone. Uh, your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Collius isn't. Collius and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure, unsure if this is relevant. So does that mean I could stand on the rock and then it would... Oh, this turns off the light. <gasps> oh my god, I get it. I fucking get it. I have to go stand on it, turn off the light. Wait, okay, no. It vanished. Where is it now? Oh, my, my scout is on it, so I know where it is. But then, if I turn, is it just gonna... Oh, I can know all of its location because my scout is on it. Okay. Uh... Okay, I need to get out of here. How can I get out of here safely, though? I hope there's an exit to this place. Arr. Let me out! God fucking damn it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what if I just turn off the light? Like... What if I stand on it? Would that work? Oh my god, it did. I'm somewhere else now. Oh my fucking god. Okay, stay there. Where is this? Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucking worked. How curious. It's Collius. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching, and then he couldn't come get back until it showed up, and if it didn't, then he was just stuck here. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see us. Okay, but so he did leave. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation. Could I... Could I do this with the rock on Timberheart? No, because Timberheart never goes fully dark. So I couldn't do that. I wonder if I myself begin. 
This seems the clearest explanation hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Milori is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness. The being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. That's the rule of quantum entanglement. You become entangled with the object. So there was the imaging and this is entanglement. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again even if he does learn something useful from it. Holy shit, that said that's the rule of fucking quantum entanglement. But then, why didn't we find any rules that like he had found an, a way back? That's so fucking crazy. It means I'm traveling like just instantly. Fucking instantly. Look at me on the map. It's like instant. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's so great. That's so great. They really went and took like the SCP... Which one? SCP-307, I think, is the one that vanishes when you're not looking at him. And like they made a whole game around that concept. That's so cool. Alright, so that's one mystery solved. That's one more rule of quantum mechanics figured out. Very cool. Lake Bed Cave. I was standing on the wandering rock when the lantern died. When they relit the lantern, Kalis and the rock were both gone. To travel with an object, I must stand on the object and cease to observe my surroundings. I must be in complete darkness. Use this rule to escape the cave. Uh, they return to examine the rock that theorized that when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to observe his or her surroundings, the being can become entangled with that object and they both move together. But then I could travel with the rock on Timberheart, but I would need to be able to close my eyes. But I don't have the option to close my eyes in the game. And what else is there? I don't know if I have time to go check out the gravity cannon. It's probably filled with sand now. Oh, no it's not. Wait, 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 what is this? Oh, this leads to Sunless City. This could be the shortcut I've been looking for. The shuttle is currently resting at the comet. Wait, 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 the shuttle? The only shuttle I found is the one that's on the quantum moon. Is there a shuttle on the interloper? Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Another shuttle? Another sh- Ah! Fuck. Okay, so there's another shuttle. Oh, this one's covered in ice. It must be on the interloper. Oh, there's a suit here. Could there be a Nomai still alive on the interloper? Our fear I see Clary, I fear our situation may be dire. Pi, Poke, and I landed here on this comet not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Pi and Poke were able to look at a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't been contacted. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Poke Pie, come back to me safely, my friends. What is going on? Like, there's so many... 
all these nomai are disappearing in strange circumstances. Like, they keep hinting at this mysterious danger. But like, what? What is the danger in this fucking system? Ah! Vitals? Why did I get damage? Okay, this sent me into space. Okay, I'm back on the Ember Twin. And this one, again, is inactive. Okay, I don't know why I took damage that first time. That almost killed me. The sand's about to cover this place. So what happens if I put it there? It just shoots it out? Whoa, right into the sun. <laughs> Bye. Okay, well, it's fucking gone. Uh, are you serious? Tell me it's quantum. Tell me it's quantum. It's not. Shit, man, I would have had like a perfect shortcut into the city. Fuck. God damn it. So no, sh no shortcut into the city, I really just need to take the long way around. Okay, so this big fuck. Ooh. Of course, because the because the cannon was active, and I stepped in it. Of course, can I even make it back there? I, actually, I might be able to. It didn't shoot me out that far, but I'm not gonna have time for much more. Okay. Um, from the escape pod. Oh god. Oh shit. The law of momentum, baby. So there's another shuttle. This one on the interloper. They went below the surface of the ice and two of them did not come back. <laughs> That's fucking scary. So there's something on the interloper. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna be another one of these fucking anglerfish? Gravity cannon. Frozen no my shuttle. Subsurface energy readings. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy heard. Strange energy readings coming from somewhere. Could it be another quantum shard? Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice. They descended to investigate and they never came back. The Nomai landed on the Interloper not long after its arrival in the solar system. He lost contact with the other two after they descended below the surface. More to explore in the shuttle or on the Interloper? A huge cylindrical structure, a strong upward gravity field. Uh, I need to go back to the, the city. The underground city, because that's where we have uh, a lot left to see. Right, let's get to the city. I mean, there was other stuff in these caverns too, so let's uh, see if we can find anything. Also, this cable is the same cable I saw, like. So last time we went left. What does what is this? Of note, this passage leads to breath breathable air. We fill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Oh, because there's a tree here. Okay. Refill your air supply tank and return quickly. Okay, leaving. So that's door number two. What is this? Emergency escape hatch. Yeah, that's their hatch. And then... Keep moving, friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. 
And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. So, okay, Coleus went through there. So that leads to the... The rock, then? Oh no, it's the fucking anglerfish. Oh, you can go through its mouth. How can you get in there? You can clear the sand and there's a log to scan there too, so clearly it's possible to go there. Uh, okay, so anglerfish this way and then just rocks. What kind of rocks? Okay, just rocks. <laughs> Alright, to the city then. Can I make it there fast enough? I just really wish there was a faster way to get there, like some just kind of shortcut. Alright, this time let's leave no stone unturned. Uh, let's start by lighting up all the lights. Okay, so what did it say? Shrine District, that's what I wanted to know. Okay, so there is a way to check it from all the way up here. Let's, let me do that. Okay, no, that's the gravity cannon. So that leads to the... Okay, yeah, I came through here earlier. Uh, eye district, that's there, but I can't get in there because of the sand here. I could at the very oh Man, I could at the very end, maybe, if I stay here until the end. Ah, come on, I'm so close to it. I'm sure I can get in there. <laughs> Fuck, okay, I need to stay here. I'm gonna put my scout here so I remember where it is. Oh, yeah, it's the, the ghost matters here, right? Yeah, yeah, there's no way to get in there, okay. Um, okay, we'll keep this place for last. So that's the eye... The eye district. Uh, let me keep the light up. High energy lab trailhead. But the sand's rising here. No logs. I'm gonna run out of fuel. What's this? Stepping stone cave? Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna run out of fuel or oxygen or both stepping stone cave <gasps> this leads to the angler fish does it wait no what does this lead Where's this? Where's this? Oh, I'm back here. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Solanum. It's good. Oh, Solanum. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the angler fish overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long, mom and dad are tall, so you and I will be tall too. The, foss the fossil fish cave is easy to see from the stepping stone cave. Okay. Fuck. Okay, uh... 
Man, if there was some fuel here, that would be fucking great. Oh, I didn't even notice these. Should we build a sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built... The sun station, that's what's orbiting the sun. Uh, if we hope to complete the Ashwin project. I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Why is that? If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. Holy shit. Because I guess they were trying to harness the power of the sun and like they figured if it goes wrong they could destroy the system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build a sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Folk, I'm deeply honored. Idae? Idaea? I comprehend your position, however, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Unsurprisingly, it I, I disagree, we're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That in my experience is the defining characteristic of our species. Oh, that was very important logs that I could have easily missed. There's more skeletons here. If you guys could just leave like a some fuel laying around, that would be so great. Stepping stone district. Okay, that's the stepping stone district. I might go there next time. Wait, what's this one? Angler fish overlook. Angler fish overlook. I have to be careful with my fuel right now. Okay, so we get a bunch of empty rooms. I guess these were the living quarters. There's gotta be something here. Anything. Oh, there's a way to get in there. Where does this lead? Is this the room I was looking in? Shit. Is this the room? Oh, it's not. I missed it. There's gotta be a way. Oh, I should have put the scout there. Mm. Okay, I still have a... Mm, the sand's rising. I still have a little bit of time. Alright, let's hurry up. Hurry up. Need to go up this. And then find the hole that's directly on top of this. This one... Yes, I think it's this one. There it is. Okay, uh, let's hurry up. I think that's all there is here. Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit. We've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from Ashtwin. Uh, it's a purely theoretical exercise on my part, Yaro. Who doesn't love computing a good low stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? That would be Pi. I told her we wouldn't be traveling there by shuttle and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. Hi, I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Ashtwin regularly. Okay, and then I can get out of here. So the warp? Could the warp be somewhere here? Okay, I'm almost out of time. Let's go. Okay, I actually had quite a bit of time left, but you know. So once, ah, oh, but I might not be able to. 
Because once it's high enough for me to get in there, this place is also going to be filled up. How can I get there? Is there really no other way? The only way I can imagine is from... going up with the sand. Fuck, I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Uh, do I go back to try and get oxygen? I think I should, yeah, let's just do it. I have to. Especially if I'm gonna be using my oxygen as fuel, I just have to. Is this really the only entrance? Alright, that's our only chance, let's try. If there's no opening there, I'm just gonna die. But then the inside is also going to be filled up by sand, so I won't have time to explore anything. If only I could block the sand from falling down. See, it's already being... It's going to be full by the time I get there. Nah, this isn't the way. There is, like, just a small opening there. Come on. Okay, so clear. I'm, I was clearly meant to come through here, but then this place is filled up. So, like, there's nothing I can do. Why would they put that opening there? I'm just gonna die in here. Okay, well, I don't want to get squished again, so I'm just gonna quit. One last thing I want to try. Let's try and get to that anglerfish. Sun Station. There is a way to safely travel to the Sun Station from Ashtwin. It debated building a Sun Station in order to power the project. My children used to play a game in Fossil Fish Cave. There is a way to enter it from the Stepping Stone Cave. It's hard to see unless the English is, is fed a light. Is fed a light, so I need to shoot the... Okay, I can't get it. So there is a way to get to the sun station from the Ash Twin. Meaning there must be a teleporter somewhere on there. Oh, and uh, just a little note. If you read my message in the previous episode, my guess as to why the beginning of a... Okay, I can feed the fish. Uh, it's over here, right? That's where the fish is. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there. Because they said to feed it a light. So that's what I did. Not sure why it's doing like a weird sound right now, but... But yeah, my theory as to why... The start of the cycle is different each time is that I'm not probably not the because we already know Gabro's is also going through the cycle so if Gabro is living something different someone else could also be living a different cycle which means their action could be different each cycle because they would they would be trying something new so that kind of explains it maybe Uh, stepping Stone District. And there's the Scout. If you're too big to climb through the Anglerfish Overlook Hole, you'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, then up and into the Fossil, the fossil Fish Cave. I tried to get to the fish through the Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Uh, Taggett can't fit through the Overlook Hole anymore because he grew bigger. He's taller than Levy now. Who cares? Elex is still tallest. Remember the f to feed the fish first. If you go to the overlook and throw light into the spot, it'll show you the way. So I just have to follow my scout, I guess? Oh, okay, I see what they meant. I see what they meant.
right. Oh, the sand's rising here. Okay, the scout is right above me, which means the anglerfish is right there. Oh, fuck. Uh... Oh, that's what they meant, because, yeah, there'd be no way to see this. I mean, unless you happen to look up here. There'd be no way to know about this... This entrance. Ooh, I made it. Okay, we're actually inside the fucking jaws of this thing now. Whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change, the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to the other side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is the new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blindfold and becomes the little fish. Why are we changing it? It's too hard if you can't see anything. Aunt Pie says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. It's okay if younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it. The rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy and to make the game more even. Are you saying you want me to like turn off my light? Ugh, don't like that. What's with these fucking anglerfish? How did it get in here? This thing's fucking terrifying, dude. I don't like being in here with it. It's giving me the fucking creeps. Where does this lead? Anglerfish study. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it used this growth to attract prey. An update, Milloray. While I was here making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. They've added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. I've, it's never too early to appreciate biology. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish and dark bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. Okay. So there's giant fucking anglerfish on the dark bramble, but they didn't come from there? Um, oh well, I happen to be near my ship, how convenient. So that's it. My children used to play a game here. One player was the fish, wore a blindfold. The rest of the children lined up against one wall. When the anglerfish said go, the little fish had to sneak across to the other side. The blindfold rule was added because the anglerfish are blind. Adult Nomai were delighted to see the children incorporate their research into the game's rules. Oh, there's still more to the city. They debated building a sun station to power the... Yeah, there's the eye fucking district that I don't know how to get into. I really just don't know how to get in there. Let me check one last time. I, there's gotta be something I overlooked. Although now it's probably filled with sand. Oh, yep, it's filling up with sand. It's too late. Shit. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to reset here. I know you guys don't want me to reset, but I'm running out of time here, so I need to. Because the District of the Eye is the last thing I have to find. There's got to be a way in there. 
it, you can't just wait for the sand to go all the way up because then the the room is flooded. Let's do it quickly so we have time. I shrine district. So somewhere up there is the solution. Can I jump over that? I think if I just navigate... If I just try and avoid the ghost matter... Oh, that's how... that's what it is. I just have to... To avoid the ghost matter. That's it, that's it. Then you get in there. Yes. Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the signal in our travels and followed it here to find the source. Uh, what we know is this the source of the signal. Uh, open your mind to possibilities. Okay, I know all this already, so I'm kind of reading through it quickly. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happened to it. Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't his choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us? Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Maybe. Okay, and then that's how you get out of here. Okay, okay. Uh, well, that's everything, I believe. Uh, is there more to this? I mean, there's still more stuff on the Ash Twin, I feel, but... Let's see what the logs have to say. Ash Twin Towers. More to explore here, okay. They named the source. This, okay, so that's all there was there. So there's something on Ash Twin. Is it better to go on the Ash Twin early or late? I guess late. So the sand's gone. It does have this ring system around it. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, all right, let me just drop in there. Ah. Ah. Ow. So this one I've read. towers don't really have anything like they don't have any logs they're just you can just go at the very top and then that's it there's nothing 
That doesn't tell me much. Alright, well, I just spent a full cycle trying to find something on the Ash Twin and I just couldn't find anything. Uh, I visited all the rooms, it seems, found all the logs. The other rooms are just empty. So I'm supposed to be missing something here, but I don't know what it is. So... Uh, no great discovery right at the end. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything else on the uh, Ash Twin. I know there's something more, but I guess I'll have to come back later. Uh, maybe there's... maybe I need some other information or something like that. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. We did discover the rule of quantum entanglement, which is sure to be very useful in the future. I guess next time I'm gonna check out the interloper, where there's supposed to be that shuttle and like something that caused these nomai to vanish. Pretty spooky. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. You can leave a comment, just no spoilers, no hints. Just, you know, consider checking out my other playthroughs if you haven't. And if you want early access to these videos, you can always subscribe to my Patreon. I had fun playing through this, I hope you had fun watching it, and I hope you catch me in the next episode for more Outer Wilds. See y'all.